2020 is over and hopefully going into the start of a new year uh, successful. You know what's crazy, man? Everybody talking this nonsense about 2020. I killed 2020. You know what I'm saying? Like, I killed it. Like, I'm not – everybody talking all this nonsense about 2020. I'm like, you guys are crazy, man. Like, I got after 2020. It, it is definitely a uh, – you have to go into a certain mindset, and I'm taking on uh, that going into 2021, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, a lot of folks are like, oh, man, I didn't – I didn't, 2020 was hard and there was so much adversity and all this other stuff. And I'm like, y'all are crazy, man. Yeah, I see what you're saying there for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's crazy because everybody's like, oh, man, like you, you know, you didn't, you didn't tackle it like you should have. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, def definitely a learning curve when it comes to certain things. Um, but uh, that's part of the reason why we're here. Yeah, absolutely, man. Did you, you get a chance to check out the Gary Vee stuff I was talking about? I did, yes. Uh, one of the, the things that I really like uh, that he really likes to push is definitely the social media aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Getting out there, getting your name known, getting your face out there, not just having some blank profile or some uh, bland emails that you push out to people every now and then. It's more so getting out there, actually making yourself your own brand, kind of similar to what you were saying last time we spoke. Yeah, like, it's so it's so simple, man. Like, I ain't applying no advanced mathematic formula to none of this. And I just post every day, you know? And mm -hmm. I would love to post two or three times a day. I just don't have that bandwidth. But now that I don't have a job, I'm not going to start posting because I'm, I'm moving on to Amazon. So going in a different direction. But... Sure. You know, I got a whole different, like, line of things that I'm going to blow off of that. And I launched the master class. So, but look, I wanted to get you on here so that we can grind about this whole new power program and the money and all the craziness behind it. Because when you were telling me the numbers, I'm like, I don't understand how you don't have people knocking down your door to get into this. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely something that has definitely... Uh, the Navy in general has been trying to get the word out there. The knowledge is out there, and there are people who definitely know about the program and who are willing to sing its praises. The issue right now is that just, especially given, you know, the uh, climate of society right now, people are out there looking for jobs, um, and it's no different for the people who are actually still in school, which is what this program is actually designed for. Um, college students who are looking to get into not, not just the military, but also an engineering field to where they can actually get some hands-on experience, leadership right off the bat, and have the job security that they need to continue on with a very successful career. And you're getting a master's. You, is it still you get a master's? Once you graduate from New Power School, you get a master's degree in nuclear engineering? With a couple uh, more they, classes, it's like three more classes. Yeah, uh, from what I'm told, because I'm not a nuclear uh, guy in any means, but from what uh, I'm told is that after going through nuclear power school, uh, those classes that you take and those credits actually do transfer out into the civilian world to where yep. you're able to actually get a degree later on if you so choose. Um, on top of that, you know, based off performance and everything like that, how you do in the fleet is also going to determine whether or not you can actually, uh, you know, go, go back to graduate school and get a more specialized degree if that's something that you'd like to do. Yeah, it's an awesome, awesome thing. I got a, one, of my, one of my buddies, Johnny, man, went to Naval Academy with me, and I went to prep school. He didn't go to prep school, so we were in the same class. He's a year behind me in high school. And he works in a nuclear reactor, right, making power all the time, getting paid real money so mm -hmm. to run a reactor, you know, a nuclear power reactor for the United States. So a bunch of jobs out there for new power guys. You know, you get to live that hard life on a submarine. Um, I got one of my guys to take command of a submarine in May. So awesome, you know. Absolutely. So give me some of the give – me, give me, like, the numbers. How much can a student make um, – Let's say, let's say I'm a mechanical engineering student at Illinois and I'm in my sophomore year. Can I start the program? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, that's what I urge most sophomores to do. If any chance I can get, I'd like to talk to those people who are in their first or uh, second years of school because that's where this uh, program actually 
you see the most benefit. Okay. Um, a, a sophomore who gets accepted into the program and stays with it until they graduate can uh, realistically expect to see $135,000 uh, in money come their way by the time they graduate. Um, that, that salary pay uh, on the 1st and 15th of every month, you, you're considered an active duty military personnel, so you are getting your paycheck. Um, in addition to that, you're also getting health insurance, life insurance, dental, um, all that stuff plays into it. It's a full-time job with your only responsibility, getting good grades. What do you have to keep? What, 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 what's your GPA requirements? Well, typically, we look at people uh, who have a 3.0 or above okay. uh, to, be comp to com be competitive. Uh, we usually like to see people with 3.5s. Mm -hmm. uh, but as long as you maintain your grades and you uh, stay above that 3.0 or keep your GPA where it was at, uh, then you that, that's where you can kind of see the, see the success. Okay, is there any- We want to see- Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, sorry. Is there any- uh, I was just gonna say- Go ahead, man, go ahead. <laughs> it's just uh, with the GPA requirements, we'd like to see either an upward trend or you stay where you're at. Yeah. Uh, always, yep. always the upward trends are what we're looking for. Yeah, we don't want anybody getting in the program and then stopping to do their work. But that's Absolutely. why you pick the kids with the good grades because they do the good grades because they want to get good grades. All right. Is there any tuition help or is it just straight? You're going to get your money, but you could use it for tuition. You can, uh, th that money is yours and you get to decide what you'd like to do with it. I see a lot of people, um, you know, take, you, they put that towards uh, their schooling. Sometimes they put it towards the books. Other people kind of squirrel it away. They put it in their savings account and just let it build up over time. Uh, maybe you're comfortable with taking out loans and paying them off later, or yeah. maybe you have a scholarship that you're already on. Um, that's another benefit of it. it th this opportunity allows for a lot of flexibility within finances, especially as a college student. Not only are you making a lot of money uh, compared to what a normal college kid would if they're working at McDonald's or Taco Bell or anything like that. Um, you're making real hard money and you're able to compound that with another job or an internship that may be paid or unpaid. It takes a lot of that financial burden off of uh, a student who may be thinking about where's the money coming for, or where's the money coming from for my next semester. Okay, so let me ask you this question. If I go into the program and let's say my junior year, I want to get out of the program, I would assume I have to owe you the money back. Is there, is there, like, could I end up as an enlisted man in the Navy or like what happens, Typically, what happens if, if I get to the end and I graduate and I try to say, oh, I don't want to go nuke power. So in that situation, um, as much as we'd like to avoid that, the Navy is going to, because it's a contract, uh, there are certain stipulations. Yep. Um, it, it varies based on the person, the situation. Um, you know, sometimes people just, you know, don't do well in their last year of school or something. And in that case, uh, the Navy will find a way in, uh, to allow you to pay back your time, whether that be enlisting and becoming a nuclear um, uh, a nuclear machinist mate or something like that. The, there are other programs out there to help you get through that. Um, in very rare instances, I have heard of people actually paying all the money back up front. So. Okay, so, so we wanna make sure that somebody that's looking at this program is serious understands that we're going to go in the Navy. Is it four-year term in the Navy or a five? Four-year four term. Uh, you have a four-year run uh, in the Navy. Mm -hmm. so, yep, just, so go ahead. Just so everybody understands, like you're going to start as an ensign. You're going to get new nuclear pay. You get hazardous duty pay too once you get in. Once you get in and you are mm -hmm. um, working with, uh, those are uh, depending on your billet and where you are, whether yep. you're on shore duty or uh, sea duty, that hazardous pay is there um, it, if it warrants it. Yep. And so you're going to get a bunch of money there. You're going to be an 01 in the Navy. Two years later, you're going to make 02 and your paycheck's going to double. So you're looking to get out at four years. If you stayed in, you know, another month later, you probably make 03. Um, the money's real. You know, I tell everybody, when I was in the military, I was rich. Uh, my house payment was like $800 a month. I had two people living there paying $500 each. And then I was making $3,700 or $2,700 every two weeks with no bills. 
So, you know, it's a great ride. I tell everybody, if, if you need money for college, like this sounds like the best program in the world if you're engineerly inclined. Like if you're in engineering right now and you're fighting tooth and nail to graduate and you're trying to figure out how to pay for next semester, I mean, the, the, the experience that you're going to get after four years in the Navy as an officer, be it on a nuclear submarine, an aircraft carrier, or, you know, doing something else nuclear field related, it's, it's paramount, man. It's, un, it's undefeated. Like, those four years will set you up for the rest of your life um, as far Absolutely. as getting a job, as far as the experience, as far as the leadership potential, right? Like, you're going to lead a division. You're going to understand leadership when you get done with that job. Absolutely. And another thing to comment, too, is that while you're still in school, while involved in the program, whether you start your sophomore, junior or senior year, the time that you're actually in the collegiate program also gets added um, to your end of, um, time of uh, service. Time of service. Thank you. Yes, the time of service. So uh, your three years, if you start as a sophomore, those three years are essentially kind of three. Those are free years that get to add towards your retirement. So, so, so everybody understands this time of service equates to how much money you make. Those three years means the second you put on JG, you go JG over four. And JG over four, so I was JG over two, you double your paycheck. So if you just look at the pay scale, you, you're a sophomore right now, I would even say for a junior or a senior, it's still going to be applicable. Because when you make JG, you're going to go over two, and you're going to double your paycheck, man. It was the biggest jump I'd ever seen. I made went from $700 to like $1,600 a paycheck. I was like, oh, my gosh. And then the year later, I went over uh, JG with four, and it went up again. So in the course of like a year's time span, I went from $700 a paycheck. I had some stuff coming out, and this was 25 years ago. I had some stuff coming out, but I went from $700 a paycheck to $2,500 a paycheck literally – in the span of two years. So the numbers exactly. are real. A a absolutely. And for those highly motivated individuals who actually want to make it a career, because there are people out there who, you know, want to join the military, they want to do their full 20 or they want to go and do 30. Um, those years in the collegiate program also count towards that as well. So your yep. retirement, um, where all your um, shipmates are going out for a full 20 years within service, you may only have to do 17 and then you hit retirement to where you're able to uh, get out and start banking on that retirement money. What is the actual name of this program? This is the, uh, it's called NUPOC for short, Nuclear Power Officer Candidate Program. Okay. Um, yep. And it's, uh, a lot of information is out there. I always tell people, you know, get on the Navy websites, do some research, um, engineers and STEM students alike like to do their research. So uh, there's no shortage there. But also, I urge people to go out and, you know, make some contacts, find people who've actually done this, learn about the good, bad, and the ugly um, with the situation. Because it, when it all comes down to it, it is a job. Uh, there are some good things about it. There are some bad things about it. And then there are things that are, uh, you know, could really excite you. And there are things that could scare people away. Um, it's a tough job. Uh, it's, it's hard. Let's, it not, let's not let's not call it a tough job. It's one of the hardest jobs in the Navy to be a nuclear power engineer. It's the second hardest school in the Navy, or the first hardest school, however you look at it academically, behind the EOD Tech School. Um, you know, it's eighteen months of heavy duty lift and thermodynamics, nuclear physics, um, reactor physics, like all of that stuff is legit. You know, grade A, high level, elite math elite physics, you know, massive brain power capacity needed. Absolutely. And then on top of that, you know, you also have to deal with ship life as well. Absolutely. Uh, that submarine is no joke. I spent four days on a submarine. You could, you could keep that, man. <laughs> you could keep that all day. But, you know, it, like my dudes that are on submarines right now, like six or seven of my young guys are on submarines. They love it. They love the submarine. So, you know, it's just one of those deals. It's some for some people. You know, I think if you're a, a person and you got financial problems and you're trying to figure out how to get through college, like this might be the best program in the history of mankind to give you. Because even at the Naval Academy, you don't get those four years time in service. Mm -hmm. So, yep. you know, that's, I mean, that's huge. Um, how, let me ask you this, uh, before we wind this down, what, 
Like, what are some majors? Like, is it straight engineering majors, uh, straight, you know, science and STEM majors, biology? Can I, If I'm a biology major with great grades, can I get into this program? Absolutely. As a matter of fact, the way that the, um, the, the program is written, they're looking for people for all walks of life, all different types of majors. You, as much as we like to have people within those STEM fields uh, to apply to this program, we really will take anybody. The biggest uh, hurdles that a person has to jump is that we want to see that you have a year's worth of calculus-based physics and a year's worth of uh, calculus. Uh, once those initial classes are complete, then you could apply. So a year of calculus and a year of chemistry. Correct. Or no, uh, calculus sorry, and calculus-based physics, yes. A year of physics and a year of calculus. I tell everybody you better take chemistry too. But those are the mm -hmm. three stalwarts that you got to have to come into the military and, you know, be in the engineering field to do well. Um, okay. So they bang. Like, so you could be a political science major, take chemistry and physics, get A's, and apply for this program as a, as a – can you apply the end of your freshman year and have it turn on the second you become a sophomore? Or is it a second semester sophomore deal? Typically, right now, I'm actually working with an applicant who is uh, transferring from a community college. Okay. So it's a very similar process in the sense that we are waiting for them to get into their sophomore year. So you can't turn it on right as the sophomore year starts. However, you get um, into your sophomore year, that's when you can apply. And realistically, the application process takes a about three to four months, uh, okay. depending on scheduling and stuff. Yep. You can you can start seeing if, if accepted. You can definitely start seeing that pay rolling fa fairly quickly in your sophomore year. And and there's probably some physical. You got to be able to qualify as an officer in the Navy. So there's some physical requirements, uh, some vision requirements. I assume. Um, sure. Al although yeah. not as stringent as air and like special warfare. So you got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of wickets to jump through, but. I mean, shoot, what's a, what's a paycheck look like? How mo what's a paycheck every two weeks? What's that number look like? So that's E6 pay. The number is off my head. I don't, I can actually pull those up. But um, right now uh, we pay our collegiate students as an E6. So okay. it's fairly uh, generous. No housing, no housing, correct? Yeah, you accept, you do, uh, sorry. You do actually get BAH with, with your. Whoa. So you, so, get, you get housing also. Yes. Oh, that pay scale. Let's see what All that right. pay scale is. Okay. I know that's so, got to be, it's got to be close to $2,000 a paycheck. Yes. As a matter of fact, um, I, I know so because I cover central Illinois, uh, every region is different. As you know, BAH yeah, every, is Every city is off. different for BAH. Correct. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So, so in like, for instance, a student that's going to Bradley University in Peoria, uh, Illinois, yep. um, they actually have one of the higher BAHs. So those students who, if accepted into the program, could be potentially making $4,000 a month. And that's with, the, that's with a paycheck, that's BAH and a basic allowance for sustenance so, as well. So base pay for an E6 is $2,700, okay? That's right, yep. If you put... BAH on there, I mean, you could be getting fifteen hundred dollars every two weeks, real easy. And I would, I'll make an argument. You probably gonna be closer to getting two thousand bucks a paycheck because BAH is it's gonna be hard. Oh man, let me see what BAH. What's BAH right here? What's your BAH in this town? I've got one thousand uh, two hundred, I believe. So then, yeah, like you're looking at. You're looking at $2,000 a paycheck to be in this program. I don't know about you, but damn, it sounds awesome. Like it, It's a no-brainer, especially for somebody yeah. who is already, look, already looking into the military. Like a lot of your viewers are already looking into different programs. I don't, so care. Getting a, I don't care. They are looking at the military. Like everybody <laughs> needs to know about this program, right? Like this <laughs> is a real deal holy field. If you're in college and you, you don't have all the resources that the rich people have and all them concerns and you make making $4,000 a month for going to school and getting good grades and you only got to give them four years on the other side as an officer in the Navy, I mean, this is a no-brainer. Like, this is a no-brainer for smart people that, that don't have a problem going to work in the military as an officer for four years. Like, 
That, that's why, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I wanted to get you on here because I'm sending this out today. I'm not even sending this to my editor. I'm just going to, I made sure I didn't say any cuss words. And I'm just going <laughs> to cut this right now. I'm going to put it up on my YouTube because I think everybody needs to know about this program and this opportunity. Awesome. Well, it, with that said, then, I'm what I want to tell anybody who is watching this is that if you need more information about it, definitely reach out to a local recruiter. Um, office to recruiters right, are not always... Right, hold up. Hold up. We're not reaching out to no, no recruiter. We're reaching out to Andrew Way. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm putting, I, I'm putting I would... contact information in the description below. Sure. Yeah, we're not beating around no bush. Like, you tell me gotcha. you want to be the number one recruiter in the country, we're going to start producing number one in the recruiter in the country stuff. Absolutely. All right, say well, the yes. program name again. MAPOC? New, new, new POC. New nuclear, POC. Nuclear Propulsion Officer Candidate Program. So it's like Tupac, only $4,000 a month. Exactly. Yeah, give me some of that Tupac right there. Okay, <laughs> Nupac, Nuclear Officers Program. Um, what else you got for me? Anything else you want to throw in this? Uh, just, you know, if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out. Regardless of where you're at in the country, I'll be more than happy to, uh, you know, answer some questions. If you heard anything that may be different from what we say, let us know. And, uh, you know, we'll get to the bottom of it and we'll definitely get you some straight answers. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of different stories and a lot of personal uh, details out there that others might want to share. And I, I welcome all of it. And you're the, you're the Central Illinois Recruiter for Officers, correct? Correct, yes. So I'm you handle pretty much all Central Illinois. So if you in Central Illinois, you think about going in the Navy. Um, I just made a Navy pilot. Uh, one of my managers right now is in flight school from, from Illinois. So if you in Central Illinois, you thinking about the Navy, you think about flying, you think about being a service officer, you think about being just an officer in general, going to make that real money in the Navy, then reach out to Lieutenant Way right here. I'm going to put all his information below in the uh, description. And, you know, as always, you can always reach out to me. I'm going to give you the 100 all the time. So. Heck, yeah. Awesome. Awesome, well, dude. You guys, well, you good? Oh, I'm good. And the only thing I have to say is go Navy. <laughs> go Navy, beat Army. I'm an opposite dude. Go Navy, beat Go Army, beat Navy. <laughs> you know, I told you already, like, I'll be hating. So. All right, brother. Well, look, I'm going to post this right now. As soon as I pull it down, as soon as it comes on my computer, I'm going to post it up. Um, I'll put your email. What else do you want in there? Your email? Uh, email. I, I will. Uh, I have my business cell phone as well. I think it's all on my Te business. Text me what you want in it. Just text me over what you want in it. Hey, I really appreciate the look at 2 o'clock because I kept getting reminders. I'm like, I ain't got nothing to do today. It's this it's January 1st. <laughs> But we're yeah. kicking it off with some gold, this nuclear officer program. I'm telling you right now, yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to get you on here because that thing, it sounded unbelievable to me. I mean, I, I'm a big nerd. I'd be tough to say I'm going to get $4,000 a month and not go be a nuclear power submarine engineer. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And regardless of your thoughts on 2020, let's start 2021 off and join the Navy and become a new POC. Absolutely. All right, dude. Talk to you later. All right. See you. Bye. Bye.